Hi guys, this is Kalara Hudson of While They Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create duplicate stitch. So for this example, this is my wool weaver shawl, and I've knitted the entire shawl in this cream color as the main color, and then I have this contrast color to make up these duplicate stitch. And all the duplicate stitch means is that we're just taking our yarn and following the path of the knit stitches. So you'll want a knitted backdrop for this technique to work uh, the best. Okay, so to show you guys how to do this, I'll just use this little knitted piece in my contrast color, and then I will use the main color of that shawl in this cream so you can see what I'm doing. But what you'll want is a large tapestry needle, and this one just has a little hook on the edge to make it easier to go into your stitches. And then you'll also want a pair of scissors. And for the shawl that I showed you, I, I just did one duplicate stitch, so I didn't need much yarn. And I basically measured out about six to eight inches, made my duplicate stitch, and then I knotted it on the back, and then simply um, secured it with another knot and cut it nice and short. But for this example, I'll just go ahead and feed the yarn through my tapestry needle. And then I'm gonna leave a fairly generous tail here. So I have probably about 12 to 14 inches. Okay. So you'll wanna leave a little bit of a tail here and then the long tail. And what you'll do for duplicate stitch, I'll just show you one to begin with. You'll find your piece of knitted work and you can see these little V's. They're actually a series of loops that go across. So if we lay this flat, you can see that this is a row right here of knit stitches. And then on top of that is another row. So once you've determined where you wanna put your duplicate stitch, and we're gonna put it right here in this little V, you'll wanna take your tapestry needle and come up from the back of the work, and you're gonna come up at the bottom of where you want your duplicate stitch. So as I said, I wanna put mine here. So we're gonna come up at the bottom of that V. And then you'll pull your tail up, making sure that you're using as much as you want to use for your duplicate stitches. And then you're gonna follow the path of that V. And in knitting, it goes from the right around the back and down to the left side. So we're gonna follow that path by going up and behind the V that's in the row above this V. And you're gonna go through that right loop of the V and then the left loop, just like that. And then we will pull our cream yarn through. So as you can see, we duplicated that right side of the V. Now we're gonna duplicate the left side of the V by pulling our yarn down, you can see the direction it's gonna go. And then we're gonna place our needle tip in the exact spot where we came up at the beginning of our duplicate stitch. So you'll go down with your needle and then pull that through. And there we've created that duplicate stitch and it's just a little V right where we wanted to place it. And as I said, if you're only doing one stitch like in the instance of that shawl that I showed you, you would just take your yarn tails, you would cut it here, tie it in a knot, and then just secure it really well. If you're using wool roving like this, you can actually take a felty needle and just felt the ends together so that you know that duplicate stitch isn't going anywhere. But I'm gonna show you guys what to do if you wanna continue with more duplicate stitches. So I have that first one. If I wanted to go, let's say, in the stitch above, here's our V above this white stitch. So again, you're just gonna take your tapestry needle and you're gonna insert it through the bottom of where you wanna put that duplicate stitch. So right there. And then pull through to the front. Again, follow that right side of the V and go in through the right side of the V in the stitch above it and then the left side of that V, just like so and then pull through. 
So we've duplicated that right side of the V, and now we're going to come back down and duplicate the left side of the V by placing our tapestry needle through the bottom of the V. And then we'll just pull that tail through. So as you can see, we've made a second duplicate stitch in the row above the bottom one. And as you're working this, you may want to kind of fluff up your yarn, depending on the yarn that you're using, but you can kind of manipulate those duplicate stitches just to make sure they're nice and even and sitting uh, nicely on top of the knitted piece of work that you're duplicate stitching onto. So we can pull in the back or switch over to the back and kind of pull on the tails just to neaten those stitches up. And then if you see that your color in your knitted piece of work on the back is kind of poking through, again, you can just manipulate those stitches to hide any of that from showing through. And then if you want to continue, if we wanted to continue on up in our knitted piece here, you would do just as I showed you. But if you find that you want to do some color work that's over here, several stitches away from this piece, you would simply want to cut your tail. And as I said, you can knot that together. And then you would feed more yarn through your tapestry needle and then just find where you want to do your next duplicate stitch. Again, going in through the bottom, coming up, and repeating that process. So this is where we're putting our duplicate stitch. So go up above through the right leg and the left leg of that stitch. And again, follow that path where your yarn's going to go, duplicating that uh, left leg of that stitch and then go through the bottom of the V and pull through. And in this instance, if we want to keep duplicate stitching, let's say to the left or the right, you would simply come up with your yarn, with your uh, tapestry needle, and you would go at the bottom of where you want to place that duplicate stitch. And then go up, go in the V above it, and then back down at the bottom of that V. And you'll just work this way however you want to place your duplicate stitch in your particular uh, color work pattern. But that is how you make a duplicate stitch. I hope this technique and this video helps you out. Thanks so much for watching.